Hi guys, I'm going to play the Banner Saga. This is a game that, since I at first saw it, I was kind of enthralled by it. I mean, the graphical style is amazing. I love the whole Norse kind of thing. Um, and it, the, the premise behind it is quite interesting. And the combat system is very similar to XCOM, which is a game that I, I love. Uh, so, I'm going to give it a shot. I have not played any of it, I haven't even looked at it. I saw the pictures that are on Steam, I watched one of the videos, the first one, and that's it. So I haven't seen anything else, I haven't seen anyone play it. So I'm going to give it a shot here. And I'm not sure what any of this is, what's heraldry? Okay, so it's like... Oh. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to pick anything because I'm not sure what we already have or not. Uh, let's start the game. Based on choices you make, you occasionally switch between lead characters witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Okay. The gods are dead. In the wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. There was an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. What? I'm pretty sure there was light there a second ago. Destroy kids. Nice name. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about the brigands on the path through Ritzhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Right, just in time, the chieftain in red and his men are now looking for a tougher fight in the bargain for. Click and drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. That's pretty awesome. We just come in and fuck those guys. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Is that like an old cartoon or something from years ago? The awesome kind. Okay, so click the check mark to continue. Supporters show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red. Okay. It's your turn to act. Make sure your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Okay. Let us fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl who take up four tiles each. Humans feeling a single tile. Need your strategy. How you want to move? Then confirm. 
here. You can choose either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers mean die count, I'll show you this stat. Cancels both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you'll now do two less damage. Strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. Bring armor, you can open up to him. Okay, this is really complicated. Strength attack will kill him. Oh god. <laughs> Okay. Enemy turn next to the enemy turns all his alternates to the are numbered. A warhawk. Appears to be out of range of enemies, but the characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Okay. Taking gold tiles can move further than usual at a cost of one power per gold tile. I love the circle there, that's really awesome. Okay. Heavy impact. Tempest? Uh... Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> wow. You made quick work of the Jim's bodyguards. But there's only one enemy left. Players enter pillage mode. During the pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies will now get to move twice in a row. Okay. Uh, she won't be able to finish the job with normal attack, but what can use to boost your damage? Okay. Uh, number of stars will be each turn determined by your ex exertion staff. You'll see the damage number go up as you add willpower, click a star, and then enter the green check mark. Okay, cool, so it actually puts it off. That's pretty awesome. The foe's lying dead at your feet, something, something, something. <laughs> okay, continue on. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the threats arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight, and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. I love this game. This game is amazing. Chapter 1. Okay. There's someone, a little birdie told me that there's no voice acting. But that was definitely voice acting, and it's awesome. You're forced by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He goes to the chase. Did I press X? Excuse me. Eric Stewart of Strand, I manage the governor's business. Uben, isn't it? It is. The governor tells me he'll be giving us a hand. Uh, seems a bit chaotic around here, I think. 
been worse. We've had, we got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he want exactly? Scarflings that you didn't hack up in the main in Great Hall, scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. Is there anyone left to worry about? I know who can tell us. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, Marcus. Okay, so we're gonna stop there. Uh, I'll see you guys next episode. It'll be coming pretty fast and loose. Um, I think this particular game, as it's story based and it's awesome, and it's not really a matter of grinding like some most of the games that I've played. Uh, I will put this one up fully. Um, we'll be doing it in 10 minute chunks probably. Some will be a lot bit longer depending on how the missions go and so on, but we're going to try to keep it at that point. Hey guys, I'll. See you in the next episode, uh, which I will be doing immediately. And look at this little guys, their um, animation is so awesome. Alright, so yeah, we'll see you guys in a small beat.